Mm -hmm. What's up, there, you guys? Your man Joe came around just to find that you need to know. So today we're going to be doing an article uh, from the uh, Christmas, uh, oh yeah, Christian News. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know. Is it? Oh, charisma news. Sorry. Um, why does media? Why does the media? Why does the media stream? Sorry. Why does the media mainstream media continues to ignore? Uh, these Christ these mass Christian executions. The global persecution of Christian continues to escalate dramatically, and yet the mainstream media in the United States are virtually silent about it. In this article, I am going to quote the quote a lot of sources, but they are either overseas news out or uh, outlets or mainstream media. Or sorry, or Christian websites in the United States to a certain extent. I think that the mainstream media is extremely hesitant to report about the global persecution of Christians because they, because it, because it may cause a global public to sympathetic, sy sympathetic, and that would definitely to counterproduct. Are counterproductive to what they are trying to accomplish. Ultimately, the elite are trying to demonize Christians, conservatives, patriots, and any else who would attempt to oppose the radical agenda of it for America. So they are banning us from their internet platforms, they are mocking us on their news. And entertainment programs, and they are certain don't or want to highlight the fact that the persecution of Christians is escalating rapidly around the globe. In this article, I would like to share uh, share with you eight recent examples of Christians being persecuted uh, at your probably never heard about from the mainstream media. Uh, one Kenya. Two Christians were recently pulled for uh, pulled off the bus uh, and shot dead for falling to to recite the Islamic creed. Oh wow! Uh, reported. Uh, we, sorry, uh, na National Christian Concerned uh, reported on statement of. Witness the heartbreaking families of a. I'm sorry, if I had to hear that. Uh, witnesses of heartbroken families a month after the two Christian Frederick, Frederick and Joshua were shot dead by Somalia-based terror group Al Shabaab uh, for refusing to recite the Islamic creed. I'm gonna let y'all read that when y'all get the chance. Um, the second one in Nigeria. Uh, actually, what really got to my eyes right here: uh, an American ministry just moved a just moved to Cameroon was recently gunned down in front of his wife and children. An American Christian ministry has been shot down. Sorry, sorry, has been shot dead in front of his uh, wife and children in vile in a volatility. I'm sorry. Recently, uh, sorry, region of I know I need to read. I need to read. Um. Yeah. So I'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. So without further ado, I just didn't want to make the video long. Alright, so it's your man Joe. See you guys in another video. So repent for the day of the Lord is near. Please make Jesus Christ your personal Savior today. Please be washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire. Be prepared for the rapture. Be prepared for Jesus Christ's coming. Be prepared for the wedding supper of the Lamb. Be prepared for the seven year tribulation. And be prepared for the great white throne judgment. Okay, so it's your man Joe. See you guys in another video or so. Okay? Alright.